What's going on, everybody? It's Ryan Kidd, and I am the Human B-Side. Good to see you again. Cheers, everybody. Raise a glass. Come on. You're riding with the kid, baby. The only channel on the YouTube going wire to wire, trudging through the muck and mire to bring you the creme de la creme, the best of the best. I'm with a rock and roll, baby. Cheers, razor glass. Come on, get hyped to get out. Squares beware. Rockin' with Stage Beast, Belgium, ain't no fun no more. And Belgium might not be fun no more, but you know what? It's riding with the kid, baby, that's right. You're riding with the kid. It's time to testify. It's time to be somebody, baby. Come on. With a vengeance, baby. It's good to be back. Welcome back to the program. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Wait a minute, press the wrong button. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. What's happening, man? Thanks for coming back to the program. This is a uh, stage beast. Belgium ain't no fun no more. A raw, ripping classic from 1977. And I've got some great singles to show you from 1977. I've got two, uh, like, just great, punchy, power poppy, punky singles from 79, sandwiched between two just master blasters from 1977 from the UK. And this stage beast, it isn't a vinyl find, but it reminds me of the first single I'm going to show you from 1977 from the UK. And uh, we'll get started. But before we get started, I want to just cheers everybody and thank everybody who's, su who's supporting. Uh, I got a brand new record out. I got a, a new EP out. And, uh, it's been out for maybe a week or two. And uh, I just want to thank you for the overwhelming support of it. Uh, I hope uh, all of you who received your records are enjoying them. Uh, if you uh, if you don't have it, uh, the link is in the description. I got a few left, so you know, hop on the train before it leaves the station, baby. Come on, ride with the kid on wax today. Rule your neighborhood. But uh, all right, let's take the stage beast off. We're going to get to the to the first uh, vinyl find from the UK in 1977. Uh, man, I love that stage beast single. It's rocking. It's good to be back in the chair. Good to be back in the in the office, man. So per usual, I'll just, uh, you know, I'm going to show you the vinyl finds that I got. And, uh, you know, I'm going to show you some records I brought out that they reminded me of. So like I said, I've got two great singles from 79 sandwiched between two classic punk singles from 77. And the cool thing about this video today as well is uh, these are all originals. So every vinyl find you see here is, uh, is an OG, which is pretty cool. And Because uh, I know a lot of us love those... <laughs> Classic punk single. So let's dive into it. Enough gab in here. Let's rock and roll. So the first band I'm going to show you from 77 from the UK. Classic band, Neon Hearts. Check this out, man. killer picture sleeve man at the top it's a little it's a little tattered but you know hey you don't play the covers brother you play the records but uh this band is a really cool band i'm uh, i'm gonna play the b side uh the single is my favorite tune uh, of the two it's called regulations but this band featured members of suburban studs and also the circles so when you hear this band thinking about a band like the circles um, it's kind of surprising that uh, someone from this band where it's kind of really raw would uh, do a band like The Circles. I could see the connection. I could see how they could do it. But when I think of uh, Neon Hearts, I don't really think of uh, The Circles. 
suburban studs would definitely be in that wheelhouse, I guess, you know. And uh, I'll also show you some uh, stuff I brought out as well. But uh, this is a great record here, man. Love this record. I hate school. Traffic Jam, that's a good one. That one always gets requested whenever I do the live streams. I gotta do another live stream, so that'd be cool. The only thing that pisses me off about this record is it's an oversized sleeve. It's like an eight-inch sleeve or picture sleeve. So what am I gonna do with that, man? No wonder it's tattered. You can't really. I gotta make my own. I'm gonna have to make my own. All right, we gotta stop talking and get into the rocking, baby. Commence the rock. Neon Hearts, baby. Riding with the kid. Pogo Punk from 1977. And I'm not a huge fan of the saxophone. You know, I think a lot of you know that. But it rocks in this song. Neon Hearts get a pass. What drives me nuts is I'll show you this. It's the A side. The song of the A side is the the it, <laughs> the song on the A side is on the part of the label that has the name for the B side. This is still a great song. We'll rock to it. Grab the shoulders of the person in front of you and pull go to your puke, baby. Come on. Raxola. About the wasps. Classic punk. Killer guitar. In my mom's team, it's your heart. Tapeworm. Tapeworm, the uh, Killed by Death classic, Break My Face. I can break my face if I want to, but I can't break my heart over you. Now I'm going to flip it over and play the song I really wanted to play. But well, both sides are great. So. Yeah, Rack Solo, the Wasps, Tapeworm. While we play the B-side, I'll show you some other records that I brought out. So, check it out. So, side two, Regulations, is really the A-side, Venus Electric. So, let's play the other side, Venus Electric, which is Regulations. Oh, dirty tricksters, you dirty rat. <laughs> I think this tune rocks the most out of both, either one. Regulation. Burn out both singles by the insults. A little art attacks. Regulations, 
got the Hollywood Squares, baby. The Hillside Strangler. Let the Neon Hearts. Let the Neon Hearts do the Strangler, baby. Come on. A little ivy green. I think we're gonna make it. Got a little bit of the users. Kind of kicks in style. Rivets, fun in the UK. Okay. This is the Neon Hearts right here. The Neon Hearts the song Regulations from 1977. Guitar of pure ferocity, baby. Feline quickness, canine attitude. So the next one I'm going to show you is also from the UK, from 1979. Uh, probably one of the lamest band names, but really cool. It's got it's this great punchy, power poppy kind of punk stuff that we love a lot. You know, I show a lot on this channel. And... Uh, this is great. It's no exception to the rule. So uh, let's check it out. I'm going to take off. Uh, that was the Neon Hearts. And now we're going to listen to the Donkeys. Both tunes are great on this. Uh, I'm going to play the A side. I'm going to play a little bit of the B side, too. This is What I Want by the Donkeys from 1979. single by the cigarettes. It's the only way to live. The only way to die. Good. Can't sleep at night. Really fun single. Here they come again. Kind of gives me a little vibe like the fast cars. Can't just want to dance. An all-time classic. Got a great uh, punchy little single, the Jags, back of my hand. Got the spelling mistakes. I hate the spelling mistakes. This is a fun one. Hate me, hate me. Great tunes. That was 
the donkey's what I want. Let's listen to the B side. Four letter word. I think it's just called four letters. Sorry. <laughs> uh, four letters by the donkey's the B side. And, uh, I, you know, I, I didn't show that neon hearts sleeve good enough. I want to show you one more time because I love the back of this sleeve, man. Check this out. I got to give it a little more screen time, man. Here's the back of that sleeve. I mean, they're looking really cool. He's got like a neon. He wrote his own band on the back of his. <laughs> you got one guy in like a leopard shirt. They look like children, man. They were young when they did this, but I love this record. But what we just heard from uh, 1979, The Donkeys, What I Want, and now let's hear the B-side, Four Letters. Brought some more records out of Australia. <laughs> you know what I didn't bring out that they really remind me of are The Letters. That band, The Letters, Don't Want You Back. The automatics. When the tanks roll over Poland again. This is a classic one. Also brought out the stiffs inside out. A dork records, not orc. About um riffraff. I wanna be a cosmonaut, Romford girls. Some Billy Bragg in this band. Riff Raff. This is Melody's man. About the almighty pointed sticks. Music to fall in love to, man. The donkeys, four letters. Very cool, man. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is also from 1979. It's not from the UK. It's from New York, New York City. Um, this is up there for probably... Uh, so I actually got a cool story about this record. And, and uh, it's up there for one of my favorite power pop singles of all time. Uh, you know I love the elevators. Your eyes are too close together. That's still probably number one for me. But uh, let, me, um, let me take this record off and I'll tell you the story about it and uh, how I came to find this record again. So. So this had to be like, it, was, it wasn't too early on in my record collecting life. I mean, it's probably, I don't know, I was 18 maybe, 17 or 18. I used to, I lived in New Jersey, so I would go to New York City all the time. And I would go to the record shop there. My favorite record shop there was Generation Records. And I was like, you know, kind of a novice in, in uh, I was getting into all this punk stuff. You know, I knew like the... I knew the big dogs, you know, in the whole you know, 70s punk scene and, and a little bit of power pop and stuff. But, you know, 
we, you learn as you go, as you get older, you know, which is, it's fun. It's all a part of, you know, collecting records and having fun doing it. And I remember at Generation Records and I, I got, I was, they had this case and it had seven inches in it. And I saw this single and it was like $12. And uh, I passed on it because I thought it looked really lame, and rightfully so. It's this is probably the coolest song with the lamest cover. So, what's what's your coolest song with the lamest artwork? This one has got to be in the top three. I don't know if anyone can beat this. Candy would be up there. I remember I showed that Candy single, uh, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, so I passed on this record, and as time went by, it just became really hard to find. And it became, as I got into power pop, I was like, man, I can't believe that I passed on this record for $12. But um, luckily, I live in a city where I have a really cool record shop, and uh, it came in. I paid a little more than 12 bucks for it, whatever. But you live and learn, you know? And I'm trying to remember what I bought that day. I bought, like... I bought a real kids 10 inch, which was cool. Foggy notion they did. And like, I don't know, it was like live and it kind of sucked. And uh, I bought, I think that was the day I bought like a two timer single, you know, uh, living for the weekend, not working for the weekend. Okay. It's, check it out. It's a band called two timers. Honestly, they don't look that much cooler than the speedies. So I, I don't know if I can defend myself, <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's the speedies. Let me take your photo. I'll show you the picture sleeve. Oh, this is, it's like embarrassing. It's like cringe to show this thing, but I really, it's such a great single. One of my favorite power pop songs of all time. Look at that. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I'm sure these, I'm sure these guys look at it now like, what were you thinking? But you know what? With When you write songs like, let me take your photo, you can wear whatever the hell you want. I had uh, I had this compilation, uh, Speedy Delivery, which has "Let Me Take Your Photo" and the B-side "No Substitute" on it. But when I saw the single, I said, "It's fate. It's in Memphis. I gotta get it." I missed out on it, you know, 15 years ago. Sorry, Fink. And uh, now it is in my collection, and uh, I'm gonna play it for you right now. The Speedies, "Let Me Take Your Photo" from 1979. Sing this whole thing. What am I doing? I'm just rocking. I can't help it. I love this song. I went in, colored all my hair. I'll show you uh, what I brought out. Here. The moderns. This is pop. No. Let me take a photo because I just might get a knife. Let me take a photo, let me take a photo, let me take a photo. Wow, come on, come on, let me take a photo. The marbles, red lights. Oh, what a good song. Away, I'd like stand the scruffs from Memphis. That's my drum. Oh, it's got hand claps and everything. 
the skinny ties have tied and gone to heaven. Uh, 2020, Yellow Pills. Pez Band. Great, too. A great uh, record. Uh, not so much newer, but a little bit lot newer than this stuff is uh, The Nice Boys. You won't see me anymore. That's great. How good was that, man? The nice boys, you won't see me anymore. Uh, the news. Spread the news. The kids are dancing in the streets tonight. How about the Star Jets? God bless the Star Jets. I didn't show the stuff. I was too busy rocking, man. The Secrets. That's a fun one. Yeah, rock and roll. Susie Peroxide. Uh, the Breaks. There's one song on here that's like, this record's good. There's one that's like phenomenal on this. What song is it? I think it's it's a shame. That song is so good. Uh, the breaks. Weird album cover. So we heard from um, seventy seven. We started in Belgium with uh, Stage Beast, and we stayed in seventy seven in the but in the UK uh, for Neon Hearts. Uh, then we listened to the Donkeys from seventy nine. We just heard from the Speedies from seventy nine. So let's let's finish off the uh, rock and roll sandwich. Okay, we did. We sandwiched two singles from 79 with some from 77. And we'll go back to the UK on this one. And uh, I'll leave you with this song. An uh, excellent tune, man. Uh, uh, a punk classic, but I think uh, often overlooked. Uh, the uh, the A side kind of gets all the glory, but I like the B side better, so I'm going to play it. Uh, from 1977, here's the Spitfire Boys. Uh, the A side is British Refugee, which is a good tune. The B side is Mein Kampf, which is a, just a, a raging punk tune, but like not too much distortion. It's kind of jangly. It's just nasty and really raw. And uh, I'm going to blast this one for you here. Here's a Master Blaster from 77. Got the vile toes. Pseudo existers. Psycho surgeon. Johnny Mopad. Warsaw Pat. From me, from the thing. Thank you for inviting me into your television set, and to your computer screen. Until next time, baby. Be good to each other, but most importantly, you gotta be somebody, baby. Come on, cheers, everybody. I'm great.